Hey guys, if you need to connect two computers to one monitor, mouse and keyboard, then you need one of these, a KVM switch. KVM stands for keyboard, video and mouse. I actually didn't know these existed until I needed one. The reason I needed one is that I built myself a new PC for video editing, graphic design and playing games. But I also kept my old PC because it has a lot of administration software which I've already bought the license for. Things like Microsoft Office. Over the years, my original 12-year-old PC slowly evolved into a server, a rudimentary server. I had an idea that something like this must exist because there's nothing new under the sun. So I had a look on Timu. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Timu. And Lo and behold, they had something called a KVM switch, which is exactly what I wanted. Timu has very cheap prices. The clothes have a lot of polyester in them. The cut of the clothes is not always the best, but you get what you pay for. Even though this is a tech item, it's very rudimentary. It's basically just a USB hub, HDMI hub with a toggle switch. That's essentially all it is, but it does have a pretty little light in it which is kind of cool. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> it's deceptively small. I, I actually assumed that whole box would be the size <laughs> of that little controller. That's all it is there. HDMI output, and it has mouse and keyboard, which are technically input devices. Technically, your mouse and keyboard are inputting through there and your video is, your monitor is outputting through that. So that's what really confused me. I was thinking about this switch as inputs and outputs. Really it's a hub. Your mouse and keyboard and your output monitor all on one side and on the other side you have your two HDMI inputs, your two USB outputs, one for each computer. So the reason why there's only one is because this hub basically joins your keyboard and mouse, outputs it back to your computer through one cable. Now I didn't realise this, so I went to my favourite electronics place, JCar, and picked up two extra USB-A cables <laughs> because I thought it was two in and two out, it doesn't work like that. So that's alright, that was a good adventure and I can have another adventure and take those back. If you have a look in the box, cables, they provide all the cables that you need. Two HDMI cables, two USB-A to USB-A cables. USB, PC1, USB, PC2, HDMI for PC1, and HDMI for PC2. And that's all you need, those four cables going to your two PCs. And then in the other end, keyboard, mouse, output monitor, or video. That's what the V stands for. Let's go check it out. My ceiling light just dropped out, which it does sometimes, but we just never use it. I'm gonna make my new PC, PC1 I think. Is that it? Yes, that's in. And just the USB, just a black USB or any USB. PC2, got it. All right, take my two mouse and keyboard cable. Go, one goes in there. One goes in there. Oops, yep, that's in there. And then that HDMI cable can also go in the front, but it's the only thing, it doesn't bend. HDMI cables don't bend like that. Very good. PC1. The light comes on, look at that. Ta-da! There's a Prince of Chaos. PC1, PC2. I'm pretty happy with that. That is gonna make my life a lot easier. I need to do some spreadsheets and some invoices now, so. <laughs> That's why I had to do this video. All right, 
See you guys.